Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm the the street, and today we are talking about how to block sales calls. Now, I have stated in the past that on my phone, an LG G2, it is an Android phone, I do use CyanogenMod. It is a, a ROM, a version of Android that you can put onto your phone if you don't want the extra clutter that comes with your phone. Like, when I got this, this is an AT&T model, so when I got this, AT&T had pre-installed a bunch of apps on my phone, and also this is made by LG, so LG had pre-installed a bunch of stuff on the phone. I didn't want any of that, so I installed CyanogenMod, and now the only stuff on here that came with it was what Google makes when they make Android. Um, of course, I've added stuff since then, but yeah, I use CyanogenMod because of that. But there are other reasons you might want to use CyanogenMod, and one of them is a really cool feature called the Call Blocker, or the Block List, something like that. And basically what this allows you to do is you can take any phone number or any contact and block that number. So that whenever the person calls you or texts you, uh, you can choose to receive a notification, or you can choose not to receive those, and basically your phone won't ring, it won't make a notification noise if you don't want it to, um, it just won't do anything. And I know that you might be able to do this already on some carriers, but the difference is when you block a number through AT&T, then the person calls you, connects to AT&T, and it gets blocked there. This is obviously not supported by AT&T, it's not supported by Verizon, not supported by Sprint, um, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to do it. That just means those carriers aren't supporting that. So when a person calls you that you have on your block list, uh, AT&T, as my example, AT&T will not block that person. They will call you, go through AT&T or whatever your carrier is, and it will go all the way down to your phone. But that's the point at which your phone will say, no, no, I'm not going to accept that call. Uh, it will automatically deny the call. It will not show you the text. Um, so yeah, you can use this for if there's annoying people uh, that are harassing you, you can use this to block them and they will not be able to do anything with your number anymore. Um, or if you have sales calls a lot, like I do, I, I thought my number was on, let's see, Missouri has a do not call list, the US government has a do not call list. I thought my phone number was on both of those, but it turns out it's not actually on either of those. But you know, I don't need the government to go around telling people that they can't call me because I can just block them on my own phone. I don't need to rely on that. So what you need to do is, first of all, let me sign into my phone. Um, this is my phone. Now let's say I receive a phone call from a salesperson. I've actually got Skype pulled up here. Uh, Skype, I think, I think gives you a free phone call every now and then. Let's see if this works. I'm going to click the call button. Oh, you need to get Skype credit to call this number. All right, so that didn't work. I need someone to call me. All right, so I went ahead and I totally forgot about Google Voice, but I'm going to call my phone using Google Voice. Right, so now I'm going to use Google Voice to connect through my home phone to my cell phone because I don't want my home phone to show up in this video. But I don't care if Google Voice shows up in this video because, you know, um, alright. So now, that's been verified, right, connect, so now it should call this phone, okay. So now it's calling this phone. Yes. So now you can see I'm receiving a phone call. Um, and I know it's from me, but let's say this was a spammer. So the first thing, I can either pick it up. All right, so I just picked up this call. Hello? Hi, would you like to buy something? No. Hang up. All right. So I just called myself. You know, I picked up the phone. You don't have to pick up the phone. You can, you can choose to deny the call. Uh, or to pick up the phone, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I want to make sure you guys can see this part, um, I'm going to go into my phone app, so your dialer app, in CyanogenMod. Once again, this is a CyanogenMod specific feature. What we're going to do is, you see these three buttons at the top, uh, go to the middle one. The middle button is your call log, and that lists pretty much all of the calls that you're receiving, 
it lists any calls that you've missed, it lists any calls that you've made, and how long. So see right there, the number that's showing up is not actually my home phone number, because I went through Google Voice, so thanks Google. Now, that was a sales call. So what do I do to not receive calls from that person again? Well, what I'm going to do is tap on, you can't see this very well, I know. Um, turning out the brightness help, maybe. All right, so what you're going to do is tap on the number right there, and you don't have to add it to your contacts list. You can do this with a contact or a number. As you can see, I just tapped on the number in the call log, and now what we're going to do is click on the three little dots in the top right-hand corner of the app, and that's basically your drop-down menu for things you can do in this, this screen. And what we're going to do is we are going to tap Add to Blacklist. It's the third option down, the last option in the list, and maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. See this Add to Blacklist button? We're just going to touch that, and it says Added to Blacklist. So now, that number right there has been added to my blacklist. Um, and I have set up, let's see, if I go into, hang on a second. All right, so you can access your blacklist settings by going into settings and then scrolling down to the security tab. Security, right there. And then scrolling down to the bottom of the security tab and it's this button right here, blacklist. And if you go there, you'll see you've got all the different numbers you've added to the blacklist. And I don't care about any of these numbers. All of these numbers, you can see a couple of them I added to my contacts, just to test that you could do this with contacts. But you do not have to add numbers to contacts. And all of these numbers were sales calls. And most of them, if you call back, it doesn't work. Um, it just sends you to, like, a robot. But, yeah, all of those were sales calls, except the one that was me two seconds ago. But as you can see, I've got all of them to the blacklist. You can turn the blacklist on or off. So you can remove these from the blacklist at any time. This is not a permanent thing. You manage it. Um, you can go to the settings button at the bottom right, and you can see blacklist settings, show notification. So right now, my phone is set to show a notification if someone on my blacklist calls or texts me. Because even though these were sales calls at one point in time, you know, I don't necessarily want to miss important calls if those phone numbers ever change hands. Now, I can, I can change that to not show notifications if people are spamming me or something like that. You can choose to add numbers or add entire, like, any number that begins with this, these three digits. So you could block an entire area code if I wanted to block anyone in St. Louis County from, from calling me, then I could do that. Uh, private numbers, don't block calls from private numbers. Ah, unknown. So you can choose. Um, I've gotten a couple sales calls from unknown numbers or private numbers. You can choose to block those. So basically say, if you're not going to tell me what your phone number is, I'm not going to let you call me. You could do that. Um, now, those are all the settings that you can add to your blacklist. As you can see, any of these you can choose. Um, like this, I think... This is the one that I just added now. And you can choose if you want to be able to, right now, as you can see, both of those are grayed out. So that number that I just added could still call or text me, but I can choose. Now they can't call me, now they can't text me. So it's that easy to block things from them. So now that person cannot call me or text me because I've got both of those block icons um, kind of on there. And I'm going to go back to my home screen now, and actually I'm just going to turn my phone off, so I'm just going about my day. What if that person calls me again? Now that I've added them to my blacklist, so we're going to go through Google Voice again. Maybe I'll do a video on Google Voice in the future. Wait. Oh, I never hung up on here. Whoops. Alright. Is it going to work? So that's going to call this. It's ringing on here. But you can tell my phone is not, um, my phone's not ringing. If I put this on speaker, see, it's ringing. Telemarketer is calling me right now. Not receiving a call. That's the blacklist right there. And if I, the telemarketer gives up, going to call the next person now, hangs up the phone. On my phone, I've now got a notification. It did not buzz. It did not beep. So, you know, it, it, I don't want it to buzz or beep, because if it rings when somebody on my blacklist is calling me, that defeats the purpose of the blacklist. But, 
Um, so it doesn't doesn't make any noise, but when I turn it on next time, I see, oh, I've got a new notification. Let's check that out. Let me sign in my phone. And notification. Eight call eight calls were blocked. The heck? Alright. So apparently that telemarketer, which was Google Voice, just tried to call me eight times. Yeah, that's definitely the Google Voice thing. Um, so that must be a thing with Google Voice that it calls you over and over again if you're not picking up. But basically, yeah, it'll say one call was blocked if a telemarketer calls you, or if anyone on your, you know, you could use this, like I said, if someone's harassing you, add them to your blacklist, or your, yeah, it's called the blacklist. And then, you know, you still have the evidence of that person calling you, because it's still logging and listing every time they call you. It shows you the option to unblock them right at the bottom here if it's someone you actually want to be able to call you again. Or, you know, that was a telemarketer. I don't want to receive calls from that telemarketer anymore, so I'm just going to swipe away, swipe back up. They're still on my blacklist. But yeah, that is how you use CyanogenMod's blacklist feature. One of my favorite, favorite features of CyanogenMod, I cannot tell you, because I've had telemarketer calls that have been blocked. Um, I actually, yeah, I... I hate telemarketers with a passion. I had one call me during school once, and that was bad, because you're not really supposed to have phones in school, you know, even though everyone does. So yeah, I had a telemarketer call me in school once. One time, I picked up a telemarketer and tried to, you know, tried to talk trash to them, and they started talking trash back to me. So I really don't like telemarketers. If you don't like telemarketers, or if there's anyone else, like I said, works for any phone number, and you don't have to get AT&T involved, don't have to get Verizon involved, don't have to get any of the carriers involved, it's all on your phone, you control it. So I hope that that was helpful to you, I hope that you can utilize that feature like I can, and yeah, the Cyanogen Melon Blacklist lets you block calls and texts, and you get notifications whenever people are trying to get to you, but you don't actually get the call or the text, so very nice, and you can choose not to get notifications either, you can just choose, if I had set not to receive notifications, I just, I'd never know that I just received a phone call two minutes ago. So yeah, let me know if there's any other features to CyanogenMod or another Android ROM that you want me to cover, I just thought that that was a neat feature that you might want to know about. Yeah, lots of videos coming in the near future, really bumping up, you can see I've been rearranging things in here again, because I just get bored and do that. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm running the street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.